Do you want to integrate Fluence CRM with your Cadence Forms? In this video, I'll show you how. Let's jump on in. So the first thing you have to do is install Fluence CRM. So you go to your WordPress dashboard, click on plugins, add new plugin, go to search, enter Fluent CRM. And here it is here. It says email marketing, newsletter, email, automation, and CRM plugin for WordPress by Fluent CRM. This is the item that you want. So you click install. Once that's installed, click activate. Again, is now activated. So if we go up to Fluent CRM, it will now take us through the setup. So we say, let's go. So put in the name of your business. Like so you can add a logo if you want to. And we're gonna create a couple of segment names. Now I'm just got a simple contact form. So we're just gonna say website leads is my list. And then we're gonna tag people. So we're just gonna say, you know, uh, lead like that. And here we're gonna turn off the install forms plugin because we're using the cadence forms. Uh, help us make this better, your email address, etc. We don't need to do any of that. So all right, and there we go. We're all good. So we go back to our CRM dashboard. So right now, although I've got Fluent CRM, we have no contacts or anything in there. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a list there. Some people want to go ahead and do that. Um, you might want to set up Fluent SMTP, those sorts of things. But in this video, we're going to focus on the Cadence forms, uh, particularly when it comes to advanced forms. So let's go ahead and now look at our forms. And in the contact form, if I click edit, We're going to select the form and then come over to our block editor. And here we want to go to the submit actions. And from the drop down, we want to select Fluent CRM. And that kind of doesn't look like it's done anything, but it has because we've now got this setting further down that gives us the Fluent CRM settings. So open that up. And from here, we've got to select a list. So there's that website leads list that I've just got. And there's a tag there for the lead. And now we have to map our fields. So here we've got the full name with the name of somebody. So if you want to do first name, last name, etc., you can do that. And then we've got the email field right there. And then you can map up all these different fields where they're appropriate. So, you know, just because something's not there, you can just select none. Um, but you can also select other types of information. So I do have a phone number field there. So you can see that, and then we've got a contact message. So all of that, that's all I'm gonna do for now. So we can show that that's now connected. Then I click update, and that's done. So now, when I go to my website, okay, so we're on the contact page, so I'm gonna do a test. So let me just fill this out with some basic information. You can put dummy information if you like, whatever works for you. So I'm just gonna put in this uh, basic test like that okay so now we're ready so I'll click send message and that submission success is there so now when I go back to my dashboard and go into fluent CRM we can see that we have one active contact and the contact is now shown up within that information if I open that contact up here's the contact and we can see that that's all filled in there so if I open that person up then we can see what's actually happened. So, you know, I've only got a first name there. If I put first name, last name, that would fill in. If I made the phone number compulsory, title, prefix, all this sort of stuff, then more and more information would fill in. Uh, there's also custom fields as well. So you can create custom fields if you want to within the CRM. And if you want to do even more, you can go pro with Fluent CRM Pro. But that gives you the basic understanding that just by installing it and connecting up uh, the the Cadence Form Advance, how that's all filled in, and that gets you started using Fluent CRM with Cadence Forms.
I hope you liked that quick tip. If you want more like that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.